Roger, we've talked about this before. The big problem, though, is that the Fed has to get inflation under control, but it's got these really crude tools. Um, it, this is a this is a supply issue, and, and the mm -hmm. Fed doesn't have the tools to increase supply. It only can tamp down demand, and maybe in this case, it's going to take a lot more than tamping down to to really slow this problem of inflation. They may have to do some serious damage to the demand side of things in order to make any difference. I think you put your finger on exactly the dilemma. You know, I think a recession is at this stage, you know, almost inevitable um, because they don't control supply. And we've seen how volatile supply can be with the uh, shutdown in China. Um, we also see uncertainty about oil prices up and down, et cetera. And so, you know, as I said earlier, it's a witch's brew. And the probability of a recession is, I think, unfortunately, very, very high because their tool is crude and all they can do is control arrogant demand. Uh, and by the way, you know, some people are going to be harmed earlier than others, uh, but, you know, they have no choice. They've got to maintain credibility, which to, to date they've done reasonably well. Uh, and to be fair, I think they're going to end up validating the market expectation, you know, of several 50 basis point moves. But, you know, the probability of recession mm -hmm. in 2023 is certainly uh, very, very high because of, you know, the challenge of trying to get this uh, roaring inflation under control and having so few tools to do it and so little ability to control the supply side of the economy. You just said at the beginning of your comments that you think a recession is almost inevitable at this time. Is, is that the first time you've said this? And what are you talking about when you say a recession? Is this something where you're just talking about a, cut, a couple of quarters of GDP declining? Or do you think that this is going to be something that is, is, is steep and painful and, and something we remember for some time to come? Uh, well, yes, this is the first time I've said it on your show. Many times I've said, you know, the risk of inflation is rising. The risk of inflation is rising. You know, I think it's now definitely over 50 percent. One of the things that has um, gotten me to that place is a recognition that the rest of the world is also slowing pretty dramatically. You know, we saw that here uh, with the uh, net export numbers uh, being you know, much weaker than, than had been expected. And so, you know, the, we are seeing a global slowing here relatively rapidly just when central banks in a number of jurisdictions, the U.S., uh, the U.K., are tightening. Uh, and so it is really a tricky global situation. Um, the kind of recession hoping for, uh, you know, the, the sort of technical 2 percent of, neg uh, I'm sorry, two quarters of negative uh, GDP, that I think would be, you know, a little bit of a win, frankly. It might be called a reverse soft landing, um, but time will tell because some of the dynamics are outside of the control uh, of the Federal Reserve and are in the control of other central banks and other economies that have their own uh, dynamics. Uh, we see China slowing a little bit as well. Um, and so, you know, it's going to be a very, very tricky uh, tightrope uh, through 2023. And I do fear a, a recession and I'm hoping it will be a mild one.